Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Kwang Lee-jung. And today, this talk will take you through the hybrid formation in gas expansion and noble deposit sensing. So first step, I'll talk to you about uh, experimental work with the Joe Thompson hybrid apparatus and some OGA modeling. And the second half, the map will introduce you the noble deposit sensing technique. So probably some of you remember our Drew Thompson hydro patterns, and uh, we added some L some component in our system. So using the uh, moisture removal section and also the compressor, so now we can reuse the gases in the system. So this will be quite useful to study some uh, field specific gas. And also all the experimental work was done uh, with the OGA model in parallel. So compared to my previous uh, presentation, so beyond the pressure or temperature prediction, now I'd like to focus on the hydrogen plugging prediction here. And also we observe quite interesting, <coughs> the very rapid the hydrogen plugging in the JT rig. So I would like to correlate this one to interfacial area and then nucleation rate. So more details on the hydrogen nucleation rate the later on, uh, Mark will introduce more detail. And the last, the MET will introduce you the microwave cavity sensor for the deposit monitoring. The beauty of this technology is non-intrusive and also it can detect some multiple solids like hydrate and ice and also scale and then wax. So starting with some background of the Joe Thompson effect and my experimental work. So Joule Thompson effect is isentropic process, and the, to uh, characterize this one, we so we can find the temperature difference over the pressure drop. So with this simple animation, so we have the gas states like a P1 and the T1, and then when the gas flows through the expansion belt, there will be pressure drop, and then we expect the cooling here. So apply these to like an orient gas system, for example, C1 and C2 mixture. So first state is outside hydrate stability zone, but when it experiences the Joule Thompson cooling, the pressure drop and the temperature cooling, you can find finally this will be in within the hydrate stability zone. So now we need to concern about this kind of hydrate plugging uh, hazard. So for some people who's interested, who are interested in kind of thermodynamic properties, for example, Joule Thompson coefficient, this coefficient is varied by each gas species and also with like different pressure and the temperature range. So this will be useful to predict and then plant this into the simulation. So this will give more accurate or more useful prediction. All right, so center for long subsidy type F, we study is all behaviors on the orient gas production. So this is one example of the substrate production. And you may see there are many different facilities and jumpers and risers here. So to study this, uh, we first we had like a high trunk loop, which is like a horizontal test section. And uh, we added the jumper section with like high jump loop. So what you observe, there are quite impressive hybrid formation through the jumper, the JP belt. So now we are more dedicated to like a Joule Thompson cooling with the, our new Joule Thompson hybrid practice. So this study can be applied to like phase transition through like a throttling and vertical section, we expect some pressure drop and also the receiving facility management in terms of like onshore plants. So here, here is the front view of the Joule Thompson hybrid practice and then the upper Figure shows actually we replicate actual experimental setup to the left view VR. So we can control the valves and then get the pressure and the temperature across the upstream and the downstream section. So here is the Joule Thompson hydro apparatus cabinet is with the kind of safety screen. And there are key features in our setup is controllable JD valve. So this communicate with the left view VI so we can open the valve like from zero to 100, which is closed and crack open, and intermediate open and fully open. And also the downstream of the Joule Thompson valve is kind of detachable. And then it has like one pressure sensor. 
and the five different temperature sensor to uh, understand the cooling behavior better. Also, after experiment, we can pull out the detention section and then see in what happened in the pipeline. So this is one actual example of the plugging photo, and also we can see hydrate deposit or some different sizes of the droplets. And after the experiment, the gas will go to like a post-experiment gas storage, which will make a low pressure of the gas. And now we have um, moisture removal stage and then compressor. So we can reuse the gas, so recycle the gas and then using the compress, make the dry gas, use the re re moisture removal stage and then compress the gas and then we make the desired pressure on the gas source. So here's overview and schematic of the, our whole system. So starting with the high pressure test gas here. So we can control the, the feed gas pressure through the pressure regulator. And also we use, we injected water through the syringe pump. And interestingly, we have like a spray nozzle, which is optimizer to make a water droplet diameter from 10 to 100 micron scale. And when you fill up the upstream section with the gas and water, then we open the JT valve. And then the downstream pressure is controlled by the back pressure regulator here. And then I'll say the temperature of the downstream will be function of the joule Thompson curve. And the liquid, such as water, simple or oil species, will be collected in the container, and the gas will come up to the storage cylinder. And then now the gas goes to like moisture removal, and then we can recycle gas using the compressor. So here's very one interesting example of very uh, huge the rapid hydro plugging. So this is actual photo after the experiment. So within the, at the <coughs> ambient pressure and the temperature, you find hydro plugging, and then even on my hand, the hydro was stable for a while. And so with the temperature trend, so we identify at the zero, which is like with the JT expansion, the downstream temperature is going down from 2030 to about zero degree C. And the interesting part is the pressure trend. So you can identify the upstream pressure and the downstream pressure converged here, something like this. And this is the direct signal of the hydro plugging. And more interestingly, it only occurred within two minutes. So this is very rapid hydro plugging formation. So how it occurred this fast? So probably in the actual um, pipeline setup, I'll say there's a tiny droplet and then chop valve, and then there's a water droplet kind of flow in the gas and train system. And then we replicate this system with the, our high pressure crystal levitator. So from the initial droplet, and you'll find there's a high, high the shell grows first and some crumbles like this, this situation. At the end, this will make a big chunk of the hydrate. And at the end, this will stick to the high uh, pipeline and then make a deposit. So this was enabled by a uh, high pressure acoustic electator, as I said. So the solar prod, which emit the acoustic field, the ultrasonic wave and the reflector, so they make the acoustic field and then the water droplet like held suspended in the high pressure um, gas environment. So the two figures are showing our result from this high pressure acoustic levitator. The left is showing absolute nucleation rate and the right is the area scaled the nucleation rate. So with the levitator droplet result was compared to the stirring vector, which is very larger scale and then with the stirring and make an exploration, you'll find a big difference. But when it's scaled to the interfacial area, they are aligned very well. So I'll say here, the interfacial area matters on the hydrogen nucleation. Like for example, when I fill up the upstream section of the JT uh, rig, let's say like 500 ml of water was injected in the bulk, but in our actual setup has optimized. So when you compare the interfacial area, so this droplet uh, interfacial area is four little magnitude larger than the bulk water. So when you have a look, 
this absolute duplication rate, this will be way larger. So this will be one of the reasons to make a very rapid hybrid plasma. So let's put the scenario in our OGA model. So in OGA model, we have high pressure gas source, which is 134 at um, 60 liter of the bottle. And the feed gas pressure and temperature was controlled like 100 by bar and then 8 BBC. And the water injection. So the upstream section, and uh, the water was injected like 200 milliliters first, and then I opened the JT valve in the model. And the water injection was continued at the 50 milliliters per minute, and the total water amount was 533 milliliters injected. And downstream was downstream pressure was controlled like at 30 bar with the BPR. So probably you know like we can predict the pressure and temperature. So like I calculated the DT and BP DP for the JT coefficient, but interesting part is here. So as I show you the pressure uh, trend of the, our actual experiment, as you can see in the model also shows upstream and downstream pressure are converging like this. And then when you see the timing, which is highlighted with the arrow here, this corresponds to like when the hydro fraction reached one. So this tells us like the, in the pipeline, there's a hydrate deposit and at the end, it makes a plug. -in. But actually in the experiment, in the JT rate, the hydrate uh, plugging occurred like much faster than the older model. So we need to study more on this behavior. So uh, my previous result was kind of using just pure methane. But now we can expand like a study more wider range of temperature and pressure and then using this methane and ethane mixture. So as you can see in the hydrate further occurred uh, with this mixture, this will for hydrate more moderate condition. And also in terms of the joule thompson coefficient, like compared to pure nitrogen and the pure methane, we can expect more joule thompson cooling with the co 2 mixture. So, so this work, like a before the actual experiment, we did part of the modeling work. So this will give the design of experiment basis. So there will be some many, there, are, there will be many variables, can be like a source pressure and then temperature, like also like water injection scenario and also the valve work. And here's the one example of the water injection scenario. So first, okay, so there are two scenarios and then the total injection amount was exactly the same. The first one is the preloading of 200 milliliters of water at the upstream section and then open the JT valve. And then I continued the water injection like a 333 more. But the other case is the preloaded exactly the same amount and open the JT valve and there was no further water injection. So let's say the first result. So about like a 200 seconds first, this is a preloading stage. And with the expansion, you can find the downstream pressure. Um, we can find the temperature drop in the downstream section. And interestingly, when you follow this downstream pressure, the, at the end, this will make a kind of pressure jump which is also the signal of the hydrate plug. And the reason why I say this is hydrate plugging, so when you have a look, the hydrate fraction trend here, so yes, so the, when they reach like a one in, in terms of a hydrate fraction, they are matched quite well. So this is also hydrate deposition, and at the end, there is a hydrate plug. But in other scenario, we had like a more preloaded water in the first time, but when I opened the JT valve, so we found the gas depletion, but there is no kind of pressure jump on the downstream. But you can identify here, there's a hydrate deposit is growing up, but it reached on the 0.8. So this was, that was like hydrate deposition, but no problem. So with this kind of uh, testing different parameters, uh, different like variables, so we can better map out in the wide range of pressure and temperature and also some like a field specific gas we can provide us to test. So we made a good prediction of the hydrate plugging and then let's have a look at the profile of the plugging. So there are like a different location 
and then the zero, which is dashed line, is the where the JT valve locates. And then it gave the coldest temperature through the downstream section. But when you have a look at this hybrid fraction, it doesn't correspond with the greatest the hybrid deposition. So, so there must be some interesting physics behind, like flowing through the JT valve. And we need to like test this one actually in our experimental rig. So from now, the metal will introduce you the real-time detection, the solid deposition technique. 